so this is a this is a much very complicated way of explaining it, and I really, really, really implore you to listen to this, okay? Because this has nothing to do with um, goosebumps or uh, something in your stomach. This has everything to do with psychology, and most of the psychology is really around how you grew up, okay? Let me tell you how I manifest when I'm not in balance. And when I'm not in balance, this is when I need to get to balance, which is I need to change something. So what do I do when I'm not in balance? Something in my life that I value is out of whack. It's not fitting. And what happens is I start to feel really insecure and really inferior about myself. And then what do I do? I manifest that by really beating myself up internally, okay? And it's like the negative self-talk and the doubt and then I manifest it by projecting it on the people around me, typically the people that I love or care about, the people I work with, um, the people I'm in a relationship with, um, to make myself feel superior. What I've eventually figured out is it was the pattern that my parents played out themselves on me that I had been playing out with the people around me. Except the way that my parents played it out was because of our poverty and other things, there was depression, there was alcoholism, there was you know, physical abuse, there was all of this stuff. With me, it was much more deeply psychological and nuanced. But that was the feeling, when I was out of balance. So it took me a long time. So I listened to my instincts when I got out of balance and changed, but I couldn't explain it until very recently. So what I would explain it to you is, we all are suffering from, or benefiting, both, from the legacy of how we were raised. And it all really dictates your decision making. As much as you may think it doesn't, it does. At the root cause of all good and bad decisions is sort of your sense of self-worth. And that really comes from these really important years when you were a child and when you were an adolescent and where you were validated largely by parents and then your peer group around you. So in my case, what I have figured out is I care about three things. I care a lot about professional accomplishment, I do. It's a scorecard that helped me save myself and make me feel whole when I felt worthless, okay? I care a lot about sort of like social capital, meaning like not the company I built, <laughs> but the term, right? And what does that term mean? It's a sense of affiliation and belonging to the people around you, right? That the ability to influence and guide and shepherd and be guided and shepherded. And then I care a lot about having a few really deep, profound emotional relationships in my life. I care about that. Um, and so for me, what I've realized is whenever in a situation, I can explain this now, the reason I've changed is because underlying it, one of those three things were not working. And they were not working to such a degree that I was feeling so out of balance that I was basically being in some way, shape or form, projecting onto the people around me, and it was really affecting my happiness, and in turn, their happiness. And I really think at the end of it all, all of us go through that loop infinitely. And what I've been able to do, because I'm fortunate enough to have the time to really think about it, is get to a place to understand it. Um, but it's really important. Um, because if I, at 21 or 22, had even barely scratched the surface of understanding it, I probably would have made a lot of different decisions. Or maybe if I had made the same decisions, let's assume I had made the same ones, it would have been with a completely different mental frame, both in the moment and then after the moment. And I'm sure all of you are thinking to yourself, like how different, like of the things that you do to yourself to beat yourself up, how it can get in the way. It's unblocking that that allows you to do everything. And like, I just think like I've been lucky enough to get to a simpler place where I can just put that in a good frame and, and act on it. How do you catch yourself when you get, get in that place? Like, do you have a process for that now? Yeah, and, and now, I mean like, you know, t to, be, to be completely honest with you, look, I, I've gone through a very tumultuous year. Um, you know, uh, this past year, which is the culmination of many years of things that didn't feel right, I have, had deep, meaningful, personal changes in my life. I uh, got divorced. I had deep, meaningful, professional changes in my life, which is that I was in the business of making money for many, many other people as well as myself, and I was not in the business anymore of solving hard problems. 
And so I've had to reconcile and course correct that. Um, I've had realizations around that a lot of the people that I had called my friends was a surrogate family that I had built around me to compensate. And these were all people that were working with me or for me that I was paying in some way. That's not a family. I mean, yeah. respectfully, that's not. Those are colleagues. Friends. Friends. They're not friends. No. <laughs> <laughs> coworkers? <laughs> yeah, they're coworkers. Um, I was about to swear, but I would owe $1,000 to Hack the North. And I'm really trying to. Um, so, so in any event, um, uh, but in any event, the, the point is that um, all of these things changed. And um, how I catch myself is like, I, I, I now realize like in that process, there's been moments where, for example, like I'm in a new relationship. And um, when I was going through a lot of this stuff, I would project a lot of this onto her. And one day she caught me and she's like, hey, listen, we have to figure this out because this is not you. And then I thought about it. And then what I really did was I went back and I thought about all the other times that this manifested in my life and how unproductive it was. And it brought me to a place where like, I recognized the physical characteristics of it, which is I feel kind of tense. I feel this thing building up inside me. And then I, and then I, I start to feel like I'm getting short-tempered and then I'm getting angry and then I'm, I get bursty, you know, and I'll pick on people. And you know, in the office, it was so funny because like at Facebook, there's all this lore about me and my behavior there. But fundamentally, it was probably because I was dealing with a lot of stuff that I had never really dealt with. And um, so now I'm just learning how to, how to find the trigger and slow it down and go back and say, wait, either it's emotional or social or professional. Something is happening that I really care about that is now I'm taking with me and now projecting into the world in a negative, unconstructive way. I got to go figure it out. By the way, this is probably not the conversation you thought you'd have. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something, OK? I have literally been checking every box that you have been told to check your whole life. And what I'm telling you is at the age of 42, what I've gotten to is, is a realization that this is the most important thing. It gives you the energy to do whatever it is you want to do. Be in a committed relationship, start a business, be a productive coworker or colleague, be a good friend. None of that is possible without that kind of stuff really and truly. Um, and so I'm just giving you that advice because you know, look, you're about to start a hackathon. It's fun. Maybe there'll be some great things that come out of it. You'll build some great relationships and friendships. Maybe you get motivated to go and do something in the world. That's amazing. But also take away that this idea, which is that like, there is work that you can do on yourself that puts you in a position to be excellent. And it is thankless work because nobody sees it. Nobody values it. Everybody derides it if you talk about it. And it needs to get destigmatized because we all carry it with us. And the minute you unshackle yourself from it and leave it, you are powerful. And there's nothing you can't do. And that's why it's important.